So Twin Cities, at least ostensibly, is about uh, this guy, played by Clarence Weathern, who is having a very extreme midlife crisis. Um, his uh, wife is having a, he's having a bad time with his wife. Uh, she's pregnant with her first kid. Uh, he's lost his job. Um, and everything is just kind of trained to shit. So uh, that's where we start the film. And then um, from there, uh, he further devolves until the point where he's about to commit suicide. Always good for laughs. Um, at that point, um, he gets a terminal cancer diagnosis. And that sets him on this whole sort of uh, path toward trying to uh, find personal redemption, uh, you know, get back with his wife, um, and then also kind of find his God. So we follow that for a while, and he makes progress on that. And then, um, you know, he's getting there. Then there's a very uh, extreme twist to the film, um, which puts everything we've seen to that point in a whole different perspective, uh, and also kind of informs the rest of the film uh, as far as what goes, what goes on there. And um, you know, it both uh, the second part both kind of specifically is similar to the first part, but also thematically very different. So. Um, it kind of gives the film, I think, more of a holistic feel rather than kind of this happens and that happened, you know, and then we get to the end, it all makes sense, and we're on our way, time for donuts. You know, um, that is not how this film works. It uh, kind of plays out in a much more uh, kind of broad uh, way than just uh, this happens and this happens and this happens. So um, that's the way that the film works um, without giving too much away. Um, but as complicated as that may seem, it's really about a very specific thing, which is, you know, how to um, kind of construct uh, a meaning for our lives, even though you know any objective, rational, logical view of them tells us that everything is completely uh, pointless and meaningless. Um, I didn't plan on writing a, a sequel to 2021, um, but I just, whenever I started writing, it, it kind of started to come back to these two characters, and I just, in that process, didn't feel like I was I was done with them. So um, I also had this uh, what I thought was pretty unique sort of narrative structure, which we see in Twin Cities. And that, that really um, compelled me to make the film because I couldn't get this idea out of my head unless I tried it. So it's been uh, really um, gratifying and surprising, I would say, uh, the response we've gotten, because I thought it was much more of a, a unique film that only certain people were going to get. Um, yeah, when I heard the news, I was, uh, I was ecstatic. Uh, we screened here two years ago, and it was a phenomenal experience. I mean, I think the fest has gotten better every year. I think it's. Um, I think I told you, I think it's probably the best fest in the Midwest, um, honestly, and I've uh, gone to a number of them, and I think it's one of the better ones in the country at this point. I think it's um, super professionally done, it's, it's fun, everyone enjoys coming, and I think it's a huge cultural event in the, in the Twin Cities, so I'm, I'm very happy to be part of it.